everyone. My name is Arielle. I am joining you from the team at Tribe Dynamics. I am typically based in New York City. I am so excited to be here. I actually previously before joining the wonderful team at Tribe spent two and a half years at a women oriented company on the brand partnerships team building really a sense of community among women and um, I just am really a fan of what you guys are doing and I can't wait to speak to you. So a little bit more about Tribe Dynamics. We are an analytics driven platform that really our goal is to make your life a lot easier. Not only are we pulling in content um, across all social media platforms, including Instagram stories and TikTok, we are providing really in-depth analytics and insights uh, to make you make more intelligent and strategic decisions about your influence, your community. We also are providing insights um, into competitive brands that allow you to get a better understanding of what competitive brands are doing, what's working for them, what's not working, and it really helps you kind of guide your influencer strategy internally and make decisions or changes accordingly. So stick around if any of this is important to you, and I can't wait to show you through the demo. So today we are going to be looking at a demo account for Glossier. So everything we are looking at is based on Glossier's influencer community and all the metrics surrounding their community. So I will start with how we navigate our platform. I consider it very simple and easy to use, very easy to navigate. So on the left-hand side, you have our navigation bar. Each tool here has a slightly different functionality based on what you're looking to do. So Brand Buzz, Campaigns, and Ambassadors are three tools that kind of speak to each other in their platform and are based on the profiles or influencers you are choosing to track, which I'll get into more details about shortly. Discover is where you're going to be able to surface content by people who are organically mentioning your brand, but you're not tracking them in Tribe quite yet. Search is where you're going to have the ability to look up other brands or hashtags and keywords and discover the influencer community speaking about that brand or keyword. And then lastly, Leaderboard is where you're going to have some really great competitive insights and benchmarking capabilities. So I will start with Ambassadors. As I mentioned, Ambassadors is where you're gonna be pretty much curating the list or the Rolodex of influencers that you wanna be tracking in the platform. We actually encourage our clients to track not just influencers, but brands that they collaborate with, um, retailers that carry their product, influencers they've worked with in the past, current, and future. This is really anyone you wanna keep on your radar for mentions of your brand on an ongoing basis. And to get started with this list, very simple, pretty much all you have to do is click our import button. We help you do a bulk import of all the influencers you're currently working with or wanna you know, keep um, a, on your radar. We provide a template that simply asks for a name and one URL to one social profile. With that information, we are able to upload all this content data um, and all these metrics surrounding this influencer and their mentions of your brand. Um, so, you know, people are really editing this list on an ongoing basis. You could also type up their name in here if you want to add them, you know, individually. So you can go to someone's name, click their name, press follow, and they'll add, they'll be added to this list. What you're going to see on this section is really just basic information about each person. So everything from their name, the market in which they're the most influential, the platform on which they're the most influential, the follower count on that platform, their tier of influencer. And if you ever need a refresher of what our tier system is, you could click this little button to see that one you see a one, that means this person is a powerhouse. So they have over a million followers. Four means micro, uh, which means they have less than 100,000. So these numbers just let you know quickly what tier they fall under. We also let you know this person's engagement rate on this platform. And we also have a color coding system as you can see here for engagement rate. So when you see an engagement rate in green, that means that this person is performing better than average compared to influencers with a similar following. Gray means that they are performing average and amber means worse than average. And when you click these three dots, you'll see all other platforms that this person is active on. We are tracking pretty much every major social media platform um, on Tribe. So that includes Instagram, Instagram stories, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, blogs and websites, pretty much anything that, you know, content really lives on and your, you know, mentions really live on, we have it on Tribe. So when you move on to the right hand side of this page break, this is where you're going to see a lot of the metrics and the exciting details about this person's mentioning mentions of your brand. So before I dive into the details of what these numbers mean, I would love to give you an overview of one of, our, one of our proprietary metrics here at Tribe, which is earned media value, also abbreviated here as EMV. 
So we are calculating EMV by first of all looking at where a piece of content lives. So for example, a TikTok video and an Instagram reel, a YouTube video is typically more valuable content than just a tweet mentioning a brand. Uh, you know, it takes more effort to produce, it's higher quality content. Then we also factor in engagement. So when a piece of content is shared or commented on versus just viewed, that's also more valuable. So we're taking that information into consideration and calculating a number and then associating a dollar sign with the number. This isn't to get confused with revenue. This is more so how much this piece of content or this person's overall content mentioning your brand is worth to your brand. Another way that a lot of our clients like to look at it is this is essentially you, how much you would have invested in an advertisement of equivalent. So whether that's a magazine ad, a YouTube ad, et cetera. So EMV is not the only metric we're looking at at Tribe. We're looking at a whole suite of them, but this is definitely one that a lot of our clients are using to measure the success of specific influencer relationships, their community at large, and also to benchmark against other brands. So what you're seeing on this side of the page break is, as you can see, each person has six boxes associated with their name. Each box is representing a different month for the past six months. The number inside of the box is the total number of mentions of your brand, um, across all social media platforms for the past, I mean, for that month specifically. The darker shade of purple means that this person spoke about your brand the most or generated the most earned media value for your brand during that month. If you hover over the box, you'll see exactly what month it was. And the lighter shade of purple means that they generated the least amount of EMV for your brand during that month. And then as you can see, some boxes also have a black line underneath it. So what that means is that this person participated in what you consider to be a campaign in this campaign section. So that could be anything from a product seeding initiative to a paid campaign, pretty much any time or any month that you are asking this person to post about you, you'll see a black line um, underneath that month. So for example, brands are looking at this chart and they're kind of comparing influencers against each other. So for example, Kathleen Lights posted about Glossier in the three months that she was part of a campaign in the campaign section, or there's a black line underneath the box and then wasn't really speaking about Glossier otherwise. Then if you look above her, you can see that Jenny and Lenny God were posting consistently about Glossier for the past six months, but not once were they part of a campaign. So these are all genuine organic mentions and they're generating more on media value. So, you know, Glossier might look at these three influencers and decide to put their efforts and resources into these two women who are actually posting about them more frequently, more genuinely, and generating more value. To the right, we're just showing you all the total metrics for the past six months. Then we take all this information one step further and break down this list into four different buckets based on their posting frequency. So retention is a metric that a lot of our clients and a lot of brands in general are paying a lot more attention to. Uh, you know, I think everyone's realizing that it's important to retain your community. You don't really want these one-off mentions, these one-off relationships. The more that you retain your community, ultimately the higher earned media value you'll see, and then jet ultimately the higher um, amount of sales. So retaining your community is only going to add value to your brand and help your performance overall. So we let you know when you click this retained little box, exactly who posted about your brand consistently for the past six months. Ideally, you want most people to fall into this bucket. New is showing you people that mentioned your brand in the last three months, but not six months ago. So these might be new fans of the brand, people you just started working with. Ideally, you just want to keep this list engaged to make sure they end up and retained. Loss is showing you people that mentioned your brand six months ago, but not in the last three months. So these are people that you may have worked with in the past, you didn't even, didn't even realize have stopped mentioning you. You might look at this list and realize that you don't wanna lose this person altogether. You really liked their content about your brand. You really liked that relationship. Um, so it could be as simple as wishing them a happy birthday, reaching out, sending them a product, just re-engaging them to make sure that they don't end up in potential, which is a bucket that shows you people that didn't mention your brand at all in the last six months. And as you can see, we also let you know that there's almost 850,000 in EMV at risk in this loss bucket. So if Gloss Day chooses to just neglect this list and not engage them, they're at risk of losing all that earned media value. So moving on into someone's profile, what you're going to see here is 
Again, all the social channels are active on. In addition to the metrics you're seeing on the previous page, you're also going to see each person's month over month growth or decline in terms of follower count, as you can see here. You can click directly to their profile from here to go directly to their Instagram page. We also let you know all the brands or the top five brands they're speaking about for the past six months in addition or instead of your brand. So this is a really good section to determine brand fit. So you can see whether or not you consider your brand to be aligned with these other brands that this person is mentioning, how often they're posting about this each brand and how much EMV they're generating for these other brands. You can also get a better understanding of this person's audience because we provide an audience breakdown and demographics such as gender, age, and location breakdown. Then this section is really going to be kind of like your CRM se uh, section of the platform. So you're going to be able to store um, a ton of basic information here. So everything from their email address to their mailing address. Um, if you have a beauty brand, you can add everything from like custom field uh, state foundation shade, or we've seen some of our clients even for like horoscope, um, pet's name, you can add birthday, so you can keep track of their birthday. Um, it's a really good place to keep everything on file that you want to remember about this person, shoe size, pant size, you name it. Then our tagging system, I think, is one of the best organizational tools in the platform. So this allows you to really identify First of all, who this person is to your brand. So we see clients tag people who are paid partners versus a gifting partner or someone who is, you know, they haven't worked with yet, but they want to maybe work with as a potential partner. Um, you can do a celebrity ambassador or a college ambassador. You really can identify who they are in your own language. Um, alternatively, let's say you're a team of six people. And since we have unlimited logins in the platform, so one dashboard, unlimited seats, all one cost. You are able to, um, you know, get really organized in the platform by identifying who's managing what relationship. So let's say I am managing Elena's relationship. I can tag my name. Then later in the platform, I can filter based on this tag to pull up just my list of people, just my own report, and just keep track of my own list of influencers. If they are part of a campaign, you'll see that pop up here. And then if your team works with Shopify as your e-com platform, we have a Shopify integration that allows you to see all the revenue and data associated with Shopify affiliate links, discount codes, et cetera. And that will pop up here. Then really quickly, when you pop into someone's content section, you're going to see all of this person's content mentioning your brand for a specific time frame, which you can select up here. All these metrics are specific to this influencer's page that you're looking at and the time frame you selected. You can see these great analytics, other interactions with the content, what channel of this person's is driving the most earned media value for your brand, and then all of the posts populate here. One thing to note about our content is we actually pull it in automatically. That means there's no opt-in required to pull in the content. You don't need to send influencers a link to track their content. We just pull it in for you on the back end. Um, I know that makes a lot of people's lives a lot easier. It could be annoying and also not reliable to have to require an opt-in. So it just populates um, automatically. And then one other thing to note about how we're pulling in content is we actually are able to look at the full caption. So that means your brand doesn't need to be necessarily tagged or hashtagged in order in order for us to surface the content. I know that some brands have people who just write out the brand in the caption. They spell it different ways. They do different like abbreviations. So as long as that's all set up in our settings page and the listing tools, we're able to surface all the important content for you. When you click a piece of content, you're going to see other metrics specific to this piece of content, such as total EMV engagement, which again is color coded, um, the date it was posted, other interactions, engagements, estimated impressions, and the full caption, and you can go directly to the post as well. And then every section of our platform is filterable, so you can filter based on a whole variety of different things, and you can export each person's profile as well. And similarly, you can also filter this ambassador's list altogether. So let's say you want to filter based on audience location or date of birth to see people who have a July birthday. 
um, favorite product to, you know, see people who really like lip gloss and you want to send them the new lip gloss launch. So you really are able to edit this list and filter to make it a lot easier for you to reference in a more organized way. You can also export this list, sent to your inbox within minutes. Um, and as I mentioned, you can do an import to import your existing list um, externally. Moving on into the brand buzz section, this is pretty much your news feed. So this is going to be aggregating and populating all of the content automatically by everyone you're tracking in the ambassadors list. So again, you can select the time frame up here you want to look at. Once you select that time frame, all of these metrics up top are going to be specific to the time frame and also um, a very holistic overview of everyone posting about your brand um, across social media platforms. So again, you're going to see the analytics over time, which channels are driving the most EMV for your brand, um, which activity, um, which tier is driving the most EMV versus posting the most frequently. This is very common, but as you can see, Powerhouse and Dark Purple is gener generating the most EMV, while Micro and Light Purple is actually posting the most frequently, which I think is always interesting to see. And then here's all of the content. As you can see, it's a super holistic overview. You're seeing content come in from Instagram, Instagram stories, YouTube. Um, let's see. I think we have some Pinterest in here. So, you know, it's really letting you see all the mentions, all the content mentioned in your brand across all platforms. You can sort this section by post date, EMV, or engagement score to see whatever you consider the most important up top. Um, we also are pulling in Instagram stories in the same exact way we're pulling in other content. So it's pulled in automatically. It's, you know, way better um, than having to capture it or screen record it or screenshot the Instagram story within 24 hours. We do it for you so that alleviates a lot of your time. So, for example, let's filter to find just Instagram stories. So I'm applying a filter that says social channel is Instagram. The media type is story or story video. You can add as many filters as you want on top of each other. So if you want to get even more specific, you can do that. Once I apply these filters, the content I'm referencing is just going to meet this criteria. So now I'm looking at just Instagram stories. Um, one thing to note is we do store uh, stories, Instagram stories in the platform forever. So you're always going to see the content. You're always going to see the metrics. It's always going to be um, you know, accounted for in your overall reporting. But if it's important for you to store an Instagram story video and save that video externally, all you have to do is click the piece of content. As you can see, this is a video. Go to the live video. All right. Press these three dots to press download. And now you can save the live video on your external hard drive, your Dropbox, wherever you're storing content externally. Because after 30 days, this live story video is just going to become a screenshot or freeze frame. And then again, in this section, you are able to filter as I just showed you and run export. So I do have to say a lot of our clients are running exports on a weekly, biweekly, quarterly, monthly basis. It's really up to you. It's very easy to do a customized report with various Excel options and then also a really nice looking PDF that shows you the images and then all the metrics associated with the content for the time frame you selected. Once you click this button, it's sent to your inbox within minutes, and then permanently all of your reports live in this reports and insights section. So um, reporting is super simple, um, saves you a lot of time, and very easy to do in the platform. Moving on to campaigns. So the campaign section is pretty much where you're going to be storing specific timeframes, specific product launches, specific initiatives um, to create a campaign. Let's say you want to track all of your holiday gifting for 2021. So you want to start pulling content in on, let's say, around Thanksgiving um, and have it go through after New Year's. So once you select the time frame, which you can always edit on an ongoing basis, um, you, you then check off this box to make sure you're pulling, on, pulling in all content that mentions your uh, brand during this time frame. Then you have the option to set up other listening or keywords. So let's say you expect people to tag your brand and holiday or a specific hashtag. You can enter those hashtags or keywords in this first box. It's completely optional. The second box is to enter any keywords that you expect to be mentioned without your brand. The last box is to enter any negative listing tools. So keywords that you want to eliminate from the captions. Then most people toggle this on to make sure all Instagram stories are included. Once you create a campaign, 
and you go into a campaign, you're going to be able to see all of these metrics that are specific to the activation you set up. Same with these analytics, same with the channel breakdown and the activity by tier. And then the content, again, is going to be very specific to the activation you set up. So this is really great for product launches. It's really great for product seeding, really great for paid campaigns. It's really just more like a folders or feed section of brand buzz. And one other great thing to note is when you go to the ambassadors tab within the campaign, um, as long as you add all of the influencers that you expect to post or have gifted for this activation, you're able to see the people who have posted, how it performed in terms of earned media value, how often they posted for the campaign. You also have the option to see who did not post. So especially when you are gifting large quantities of people, it's really great to see, you know, instead of doing this manually, who didn't really follow through on their promise or just isn't posting when you send them products. So I think this allows you to be a little bit more strategic with your upcoming or, you know, in the future initiatives. And then, of course, you are able to filter the section and export it as well. The next section is Discover. So as I mentioned, Discover is where you're going to be surfacing content by people who are mentioning your brand. Um, this is across social media platforms and people that are already on our database of hundreds of thousands of influencers. So once they are tagging your brand in the last 28 days, they will populate here. And if they're populating here, this simply means that you aren't tracking them in your ambassadors list. So it's a really good way to discover organic content by people that you are simply not tracking in Tribe or might not even be aware of yet. So you can sort this by post date, EMV, or engagement score to, to see whatever you consider the most important up top. And again, when you click a piece of content, you can see how it performed, what the sentiment was around your brand. You can go directly to the post. You can even do some digging on this person to like go to their profile, see if you like their overall vibe, if this is someone you might consider working with in the future, or if you just, you just want to keep them on your radar for maybe a future collaboration, you can click this button to follow them in ARM, which means follow them in your ambassadors list. Once you do so, you are going to see a tag automatically added to this person's profile of discovered and the month and year you discover them, just so you remember where they came from, that they came from Discovered, and when you started following them. And then you can also view the Discover section by like line item to see exactly who posted about you during that time frame, how much overall EMV they generated for your brand, how often they posted about your brand, and you can follow them directly from here as well. Next section is search. So I think search is a really great section in Tribe to do some digging on competitive or like-minded brands or even aspirational brands and also see the top 2,500 hashtags that we populate every week to see what people, you know, what hashtags are trending, who's speaking about that hashtag and topics that are relevant to your brand. So for example, let's say Glossier wants to look up um, Shiseido to see people who are mentioning Shiseido in the past six months. So right now, this list is currently sorted by the highest earned media value drivers up top. You have insight to see how often this person speaking about this brand, in this case, Shiseido, when, when they were posting about the brand, how much overall EMV they're generated for the brand, and how they're performing on their own channels. And you can filter the section, you know, as you can the rest of the um, parts of the platform. So let's say you want to form, so let's say you want to filter to find people who are just have an audience primarily based in the United States. You can apply a filter to narrow down this list of 1,600 plus people and narrow it down to be a much smaller number to make it a little bit easier to sort through. And if you discover someone on this page that you might want to work with or keep on your radar, you can click follow to start tracking them in the ambassador section. And again, they're going to be automatically tagged with mention in the brands page you discover them from. And then alternatively, let's say Glossier is getting into clean beauty and they want to learn more about people who are speaking about clean skincare, clean beauty, topics that are relevant. So you can click the clean beauty hashtag to similarly look up the full list of people who are tagging clean beauty in their posts over the past six months. Now, obviously, this is a very big list, over 2,000 people. If they want to you know, do a clean beauty launch on TikTok, you can also apply a filter that allows you to see people who are active on TikTok by, let's say, people who have at least 15,000 followers on TikTok. 
Now you're going to see a list of people who are tagging clean beauty and also are meeting that criteria on TikTok. You can click their profile, these little buttons to go exactly, um, you know, see exactly what platforms they're active on and go directly to their page. And you can follow them from here as well. The last section we are going to focus on today is one that I think really sets Tribe apart, but it's our competitive insights section. So our leaderboard is where you're going to have the ability to track a list of competitive or like-minded brands to see how you're performing against them on any given month. So right now we're looking at June 2021. And what you're going to be able to see on this cover page is, first of all, how much EMV each brand had generated for them if they were growing or declining month over month and also year over year, the share of voice. So how much of the conversation is each brand holding amongst this competitive set? Was that number growing or declining month over month and year over year? And also where they fell in the ranking. So for example, it looks like Drunk Elephant actually moved up a spot since May 2021 while Fresh moved down. So it looks like Drunk Elephant took over um, Fresh's spot. And then you can see the pharmacy actually moved up two full spots, which is really interesting to keep a pulse on what competitive brands are doing and how they're performing compared to each other. So let's say Glossy wants to go into Drunk Elephant's profile to see how they're performing for June 2021. So their total earned media value if they were growing and declining year over year, their community size, the number of posts, how they performed compared to each other, and also the competitive set for the past 12 months, how their communities were compared to each other. So the way that you read this chart is the size of the circle is the size of your community. The bigger the circle, the bigger your community. Um, the further right the circle is on the chart means that the more potency or EMV each person's driving for your brand on average, and then the higher up on the chart means that the more frequently each person is uh, posting about your brand on average. So ideally, you want to have the biggest circle be the furthest right and the highest up. And a lot of clients are looking at this chart to really benchmark against competitive brands when it comes to their community. So for example, let's say Drunk Elephant is looking at this chart and they notice how their circle is while higher up way further left on the chart. And they would rather focus for the next three months on having their niche community generate higher EMV. So they might go back to the ambassadors tab here, sort the ambassadors tab by their highest EMV drivers and focus on working with those people specifically so they can catch up to Glossy over here. You also have insights to see how much of this brand's content that month is sponsored versus organic. This is based on the language that denotes a uh, paid or sponsored posts, such as hashtag paid, hashtag spam, and so on. And then you can see what channels are driving the most EMV for this brand, and the, then their top 50 posts by influencers. And when we say top 50 posts, this means their top 50 EMV driving posts. So this is really cool because you could see what's really working for this brand, what you know people are posting about them, how it's performing. You can click the post to see the more specific metrics. You could go directly to the post. And you can also click the ambassadors list to see their top 50 performing influencers that month as well. And with this list, you can see how often this person has posted about this brand for the past 12 months, how much EMV they generated for this brand for the month that you're looking at. And if you want to do some prospecting on this, on this page as well, you can also click follow an ARM to move them to your ambassadors tab. And again, the leaderboard section is also exportable. I know a lot of people are doing competitive insights and you know competitive reporting internally, so we make it really easy for you to do so by clicking this export button. This concludes our demo. I want to thank everyone so much for joining and listening in, and I really hope you enjoyed it. I do want to share that the Tribe team would be more than happy to hear from you and meet with you one-on-one to give you a more in-depth demo of your platform, hear about your influencer objectives and how we can help. I also want to share that we would be more than happy to offer the WIM community a special opportunity to try out the platform for a complimentary 30 days. So please feel free to find us on tribedynamics.com. I also believe you have the opportunity to meet with us one-on-one -on -one over the next two days. So I really hope to hear from you. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you.